Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm gonna share with you the details about my mobile app, the technologies I use for the development and the actual user interface of the program. Also I will explain the initial idea behind that project. But before that I have to get some things done in the city, so let's go with me. So I got home, it was a pretty refreshing uh, journey I would say and uh, I would like to test this coffee that uh, I have just bought. Uh, it is really fresh because uh, it was roasted like four days ago. Uh, I have never had uh, such fresh coffee honestly, so let's try. Oops. Honestly, it smells like uh, pure chocolate. I made a mess, but just look how beautiful it is. And about the taste. Mm, it's a bit... It's not harsh like at all. It's a bit sour, but really a little bit. The taste is really easy and and kind of pleasant. I mean, I just love coffee. Sorry. So now, as I promised, I'm gonna share the details about my app. First of all, why did I decide to build my own application? About five years ago, I had a problem with the overspending money. I mean, I would get my salary and then right away I would go and spend some money for things I just didn't need. I realized that problem and I started digging into that topic. What could I do about that to prevent such like behavior, such financial consequences to myself? Then I found out uh, that there were many options to like solve this issue, but the general one was to track my financial transactions on a daily basis. So, for example, if yesterday I bought uh, groceries for like 20 euros and I would need to write it down like uh, groceries 20 euros, uh, like the date yesterday, so that I could control my financial state. The first programmatic solution for my issue was uh, simply Google Sheets. I would create a table and uh, I would write down my transactions on a daily basis in that table and then I was able to summarize or sum up the uh, transactions to understand uh, how much money I spent. But the most important thing for me was that I was able to understand what exactly I bought uh, for that money. The Google Sheets option uh, was working pretty well until I realized that it was not convenient at all uh, if it comes to a mobile phone. For example, I could have a vacation and uh, it was not really easy to write down transactions that I was making on my vacation using Google Sheets because I didn't have a laptop with me. So I had to use Google Sheets using my mobile phone. And the user experience is just horrible. I mean, Google Sheets is not supposed to be used from mobile phones, I guess. So no offensive against Google Sheets. I still use it for any other purpose, but not for this one. So after that, I started looking for another solution, more convenient in terms of uh, mobile phone experience. I was trying many apps. Uh, the main problem with that for me was that they were too simple. I mean, they mostly looked like a to-do list. So you can write down your spending and uh, it will look like uh, a short to-do list. I didn't like it uh, because it didn't provide a more like general overview of my financial state. Then I downloaded another app. It had more granular view, but uh, the problem was that 
Mm, this app had issues with uh, the data integrity. I mean, at some point, I just didn't have access to my uh, financial transactions. Uh, so probably someone has messed up with the database and uh, that happened. Besides that, even though I was using this app for a long time, it lacked some features that I would like to have. And I suppose the developers of this application just stopped enhancing it and working on that. So I just lost my hope they would add the features uh, into this application. So yeah, I decided to build my own app to solve my own problem and maybe to solve uh, problems of other people. So this is the current version of my application. It is not released yet, but I can show you the usual user flow. Let's say you have a salary once per month and you want to track this uh, operation. Uh, you would normally create an income source uh, like you would call it main job, you would uh, select some icon and uh, it will be created and shown uh, like that. After that, you would want to add uh, the actual account, uh, like money account, where the money uh, would uh, come to. So, for example, I would create an account and call it uh, credit card. For example, you get your salary on your credit card and you can uh, select your uh, current bal balance, uh, for example, 1000 uh, euros. So we have our income source and we have uh, our account. So now let's track the actual operation. For example, yesterday I got my salary and I got two thousand euros to my uh, credit card account. I need to open a transaction screen and select the income type and here I should select the income source and uh, the actual destination which is our credit card. Then I need to type how much money it's 2000 euro. I can add some tag here, uh, some note. I can select the date which is yesterday. I press done and I already see this operation being shown on the transaction feed screen. Also, you can open the main screen, uh, which is called money map, and uh, you will see that your balance is now at 3000, and here you can see that, so yeah. This app has four entity types. These are income source, uh, money accounts, expense categories and saving goals. So these entities should cover the most cases that uh, most people have. As for the transactions, there are uh, currently four types. These are expenses, uh, incomes, transfers, uh, saving goals, uh, I mean saving operations, and there are two more, which are refund and debt. Uh, they are currently under development. Now let's talk about tech stack that I'm using developing this app. The actual mobile application is built using Swift. I'm not really proficient with that, even though I'm learning the language itself and uh, Swift UI framework, but so far I like that it works smoothly and pretty much obvious to me. I don't really use uh, too much of external libraries. I only use uh, this AnyCodable. I need it for typing of my backend uh, models. Then I use uh, Keychain Access and uh, Swift UI Pager that is used uh, for building carousel components. And uh, the most interesting part here is SQLite library. This library is just an actual wrapper around the SQLite that is uh, used um, in Swift under the hood. And let me explain why I'm even uh, using that. So the main thing is I want this app to be as responsive as possible uh, in terms of uh, user experience, I mean, in terms of uh, the speed of the interaction with the actual uh, application. I would like to create any data related operations like tracking transactions or creating a money accounts, income sources, etc. And then I would like to synchronize the local database with the actual data uh, on the server. My initial idea was to have the data only on the user's device, uh, but then I realized that there might be cases when mm, multiple people could use the same account on different devices and the source of truth is uh, required here. Uh, the backend part 
is written using Fast API framework. It's pretty lightweight asynchronous framework that uses really convenient tool for typing that is called Pydentic. And as a migration tool, I use Alembic. Besides that, I use rough linter and for tests, I use Pytest. So yeah, I tried to cover the important stuff that's related to my application. In my next videos, I'm gonna share with you my progress and my thoughts about the development process of this app. And by the way, let me know in the comments if you like this format of content. So yeah, see you in the next one.